Before heading out, make sure you have all the items shown here. The items you need may be supplied by Skywatcher, such as the ones highlighted here, or the ones you need to prepare on your own, such as the ones highlighted here. You will also need to prepare a Polaris position chart using Polar Finder softwares, which you can easily find on the net. Here is an example using the software provided on myastroimages.com by Dr. Jason Dale. Make sure to enter the time and location of when and where the actual shooting will take place. The first step is to set up your tripod. Mount the equatorial wedge. Point the latitude adjustment knob roughly towards north. Level the equatorial wedge. Insert the batteries. Remove the converter screw adapter. Remove the mounting plate off the wedge. And attach it to the Star Adventurer using the Allen key. Make sure the stopper screw goes into the indentation on the underside of the mount. Now you can mount the Star Adventurer on the wedge. To polar align, first loosen the log lever. Then adjust the tilt of the wedge until it reads your current latitude. Tighten the illuminator battery case. Then turn the illuminator on. Insert the polar scope illuminator. Loosen the clutch knob and rotate it until the zero of the reticle is at the 12 o'clock position. Then fasten the clutch knob. Adjust the wedge knobs to put the Polaris at the right position according to the chart you prepared. Lock the lever and remove the illuminator. If the fine tuning adjustment screw is too tight, use the Allen key to loosen the two screws indicated here. Screw the ball head adapter onto the ball head. Mount the ball head adapter on the mounting platform. Make sure the indentation of the ball head adapter and the locking knob are lined up. Remove the quick release plate. Attach it to your camera. Mount the camera on the ball head. Point the camera to your target, then lock it. Set the camera to bold. Turn off the autofocusing. Then turn the focus to infinity and turn it back a little bit. Adjust ISO and aperture as needed. Install the shutter control cable. Select N for 100 second shutter interval, or select time lapse for 50 second shutter interval. If you are in the southern hemisphere, select S for 100 second shutter interval. Turn the mode dial to star and the setup is done. Just relax and let Star Adventure do the rest. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.